There we go. Should be good. Hello to the YouTubes and all that. Also, my new co-worker seems bothered that I take lunch and such and still have extra time, yet she doesn't take lunch and such normally and says she struggles to get her stuff done in time. Well, that sounds like a her problem, not... <laughs> I, mean, I don't really I don't really know what to say about that. You thought Jack 2 won? No, 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 no. I have, I have Jack 2 on the list, but I didn't have it enabled because I want to beat games in order. I mean, I, I've personally beat Jack 1 100% in the past, but it's been like seven years, eight years, something like that. It's been a little while, so this one is better. I mean, I agree with you on that. <laughs> to some people, those are probably fighting words, but I agree. This is my favorite, Jack. Uh, I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. I didn't want to interrupt because there's no subtitles. Um... <laughs> Sadly, there's no uh, no unvoting. It's fine. You'll just have to put twice as much points on a different game <laughs> to make it more likely that one gets picked, right? She mined to the Continue principal today, but a search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right, and then And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. What, old man? Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Oh wait, is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Yes, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> I saw your message. Might get to close at 10. I saw it, love. Heart Weedy Rewards on sale online for what? You Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on, I need to turn the game down. Uh now that the cutscenes are over. But that's I bought a Heart Weed Eater. I did <laughs> I had no idea they were on sale online for that cheap. I would have just bought one of them if I had known. Like I said, I didn't even really want the the leaf blower. Uh, okay, love you too. Bye. Um, I just bought... Uh, I just bought it because it came with the weed eater. And I was gonna get a cheaper one, but I needed the weed eater for today. And we didn't... Uh, have... At the store, we didn't have, like, the regular weed eater just by itself. We only had the, the combo with the, the stupid leaf blower. So I just bought that instead. That sucks, man. I wish I would have known about the $50 one. I totally would have got that. Rue, what's up, my guy? You can actually watch on Wednesdays now. And uh, your name looks to be the same. I'm paying attention. <laughs> I don't notice any real difference. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I got to remember how to play. Okay, so you can roll with L1, L2. Or R1. L1, circle is spin, X is jump, triangle is nothing, at least not right now, square is regular attack, or... I can change it yet because it won't let me, but yeah, I'm just chilling at work so I can watch as long as I'm not too busy. Eggs. <laughs> Eggs sound pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Although I did just eat lunch. Noodle has this, uh problem she accidentally makes me lunch for work all the time when I don't work <laughs> so then I just end up with with sandwiches and stuff in the fridge so I just eat those on my days off a lot of time so after I woke up today uh did the lawn and shit I ate my my work lunch for <laughs> for regular lunch and it was delicious so thank you to noodle I know she can't hear at least I don't think she can but e Post it on Discord. Oh, the weed eater. I mean, I guess technically I, I'm within the return window on mine. 
it's definitely used though so like <laughs> oh it's the 20 volt i mean that's still it's a hell of a lot cheaper than what i spent but it i i did buy the 40 volt the more powerful one i don't know so I don't even know for sure if they'll take it back or not because it's m most definitely used. It's, it's not like, it's not new at all, man. I uh, I just took it outside and did did all of my edges today, just uh, an hour or so ago. I wish. There were subtitles as an option, man. I mean, I could turn down the other stuff. I don't know. Ah, uh, well. Stupid retro games without having subtitles, man. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things they changed in the... in the remaster. First eggs, now boxes? You gotta have your boxes, man. You can't have a game without boxes. Honestly, name one game without boxes. I mean, I'm sure there's some out there, but they're not legitimate. They don't they don't count. <laughs> oh, just heard thunder. If I disappear, that's why. <laughs> I'm just imagining now like thunder coming down from, you know, the skies going through the building wherever you're working at. And, uh, <laughs> taking you out, man. <laughs> like, I, I'm sure what you mean is, like, you know, power goes out or, or cell phone signal goes out or whatever. But, um, I'm just imagining the thunder itself just, like, taking you out. Alright, this precursor energy shit. Yep, gotcha. You got the 40 volt. You're, yeah, I mean, it worked pretty well. I wish I had a little bit bigger cutting area. That's another problem with the one that you showed just now. It only has a 10-inch cutting area. Mine's 12, and honestly, even with 12, I was like, man, I wish it was a little bit longer. Like, a little bit larger cutting area. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably just stick with the one I have. Considering that, you know, it's used and all that stuff, but... Whatever. Gotta go back to work soon, and I'd lose signal as soon as I go in the building. That's lame, dude. Do they have, like, cell phone jammers or something? They... <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I just can't imagine, like, around here not having a signal. Just take the guard off. I... That's gonna hurt. I did consider that. Legitimately, I did consider that. But the reason I didn't was because, uh... It's one of those weed eaters with an auto feeder on it. So every time you uh, pull the trigger to start the weed eater, it feeds out more string. Um, so without the guard, there's nothing to stop it from just getting too long to be effective. You know, like it would just keep getting longer and longer and longer. And then at that point, it's basically the same as the broken weed eater that I have. Um, minus... Uh, the overheating problems that it was running into because it was a it's a 40 volt one but it used two 20 volt packs and then with the the string feeder getting fucked up on it and the string constantly feeding out it was like overworking the motor and then the batteries would get too hot and just, it was a bad time that was the whole reason why i had to get a new weed eater but anyways like i said it, the the idea did definitely cross my mind <laughs> I don't think there's anything up there. I don't think we're going for 100% on this or anything, but if I see something, I still struggle to, you know, not collect it. Old habits die hard and all that. Just a lot of brick and it's the middle of nowhere and a lot of brick of steel. Brick and steel. I feel it, man. I feel it. I mean, granted, when I was in school, like, cell phones were hardly a thing you know you had like flip phones and that was about it 
And from the best of my memory, signal was pretty decent, but signals back then were wider. They weren't um, as short of wavelengths as they are now. So that you can have that massive data throughput that we have with signals now. Anyways, point being, they had a lot easier time going through things like brick and whatnot than modern day cell phone signals do. Is there anything down here? Ooh, oh, that's spikes. Got really close to that. No, okay. <laughs> Came back down here for absolutely no reason, and that's fine. Oh. Can't we? Uh, we can, like, roll jump, can't we? Now that I think about it. I'm trying to remember, like, all the moves and stuff. Sorry, I'm still a bit sick. Getting better slowly but surely, but still a bit Great. sick. You found all of the power cells of the island. Come back to the warp gate so I can bring you back to the lab. Hurry up! Warp, warp, let's go! Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Somebody's angry, dude. Holy shit. I mean, I guess I can't really blame him. We did directly disobey his orders and <laughs> get uh, Daxter turned into a weasel of some sort. What, <laughs> Whatever the hell they're called. Alright, I believe there's something around here, isn't there? No? Is it empty? We can't even go through the window. Dude, I could have swore there was something back there, but obviously mistaken. It's been a long time since I've... Oh, maybe it was down here? No. Nope. Since I've beaten the game. So there is undoubtedly going to be a ton that I don't remember. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one. I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. I think you just have a thing for alt elves. <laughs> I'm trying to think of more examples, but I can't, man. My brain doesn't work. But <laughs> but I feel like I feel like that's kind of your type. Alt elvish. Alt and Elvish. There we go. The two together. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. She's not bad. I can't blame you. We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. I hear things somewhere. Gotcha. I didn't even realize that the scout flies put off sound <laughs> until just now. I may, <laughs> I may have realized that forever ago when I was playing, but like, I just heard a random sound. I was like, what the hell is that? It sounds like something's flying around. And then 
We got the scout fly and it stopped. And I was like, oh shit. Don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village had no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. Boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. Man, I'm... <laughs> I'm sad that they kind of abandoned this whole town and storyline and what and whatnot for two and three like I get that they wanted to, to expand or whatever but and maybe like deeper in two or three you get to come back here and see some stuff or something like that but at least in what I've played of two and three they just kind of forget all of this exists besides the, the professor I wish to set off on my journey yesterday but I seem to be a spot short on the old Precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. So they both want 90 precursor orbs. Shouldn't be too difficult. Do we have camera control? Not in town, it seems like. Which is fair. And then, what do you want? I'm sure you probably want something. Oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange-bellied rain drake. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flood flood near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I'd pile some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Oh, she just wants us to save the bird. Okay, that's not too bad. We can do that. We would have done that anyways. Probably. Maybe. And then, you guys, don't we have to, like, get you all in the pen? Come on, move it. Let's go. It's gonna take me a moment to get used to the camera controls. They're backwards from what I prefer. left turns the camera right, right turns the camera left. I'm so used to like just holding straight on the left stick to move forward and then using the right and left stick. Hey, you bastard, get in there. <laughs> or using the, the right stick, moving it left and right to make me turn left and right. So it confuses me a bit whenever it's backwards. But it's weird because I do inverted vertical controls, so <laughs> so it's uh yeah. And the logic I use for the inverted camera or vertical controls, um, the same logic could be applied to inverted horizontal controls, or I guess normal horizontal controls in this case. Um, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't make sense to my brain that way. One needs inverted, the other shouldn't be. <laughs> it's weird, but it's what works for me. No, you bastard. Turn. There you go. Are you just going in? Hey, good job. Proud of you. Your turn. Get in there. Nope, in. 
cell. Let's go talk to him. Hello, Mr. Farmer, sir. Oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this parasol for your trouble. Gladly. Thank you, kind old sir. Already up to five, man. I don't remember how many we needed to <laughs> to get the bike up and running, but I feel like five in the amount of time that we've spent on it, not too bad. I've been watching a little bit of a uh, a playthrough of Morrowind just to learn a little bit more about the game. And, uh... It's wild, man. <laughs> like, some of the stuff that I didn't know that feels so obvious now, like, the whole point of charging up your attacks isn't necessarily so you hit more often or anything like that, but, um, the, the damage range that it shows on the weapons, if it shows, like, 1 to 10 or whatever, if you spam attack, you're only gonna do 1 damage each time you hit. Whereas if you charge for a moment, you'll do 10 damage each time you hit um, for a full charge. And then if you do like a half charge, it would be, you know, five, six, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it just makes so much sense now that I know that. But I never, I don't know, I just never put two and two together with that. And also, there's a couple things like right in the starting town that we missed because they were like just right off the beaten path. It's like, I don't know, man. I'm excited to play more. More one, I guess, when is what I'm saying. The light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. All right, he wants orbs for power cells, but more so than the other people do. We should probably give them to the other people first. Then I think, if memory serves, up here is the way we go to actually leave. Which we can't do yet. Yeah, Fire Canyon. So there's no real point in going up here yet, yet. But I'm going to go ahead and collect whatever orby things we can get. Yeah, because all that lava there, there's no way for us to cross that without the bike. Well... I say that, there's probably some sort of glitch or something that you can use to get through it. Because I know the speed run for this is pretty pretty wild with a bunch of skips and things like that. But in a normal playthrough, such as this one, there's no way for us to get through there without getting the bike thingy. Ow. What did I even hit? I guess that little post? <laughs> can I get 90 before... I actually leave town to give to one of the two people. Probably my uncle first, because honestly, screw the mayor. Whose house is this? Have we been in this one? I think we skipped this one. Ooh, nice. So what, every seven of the fly thingies, we get a... Another power cell? Alright! You found all the scout flies in this area! Oh, you just have to find them all, maybe. That kind of makes sense. Hello, you. Oh, where is my mute? Sculptor, hey. I'm guessing? Artist? Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. Your what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. 
quick parcel if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Yes. <laughs> to answer your question, Dax, yes. We will be going back. Not necessarily right this second, but... We're definitely going back. We gotta find his muse, dude. We can't just leave him without his muse. That's just cruel and unusual, you know? All the chests, please. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> good thing to remember there. The, the shiny precursor powers don't make us invincible. <laughs> They just power things and suck things in. What's the green stuff again? Health? I think that's health, more or less. We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Now he's like shooting at us, right? Yeah, there we go. Right, your aim sucks. Shoot right here. Ah, oh, you bastard. Let's go kick some big bird butt. Excuse me, sir. I would like you to blow this up. Is that close enough? That's probably close enough. It's not. That is. Now this one. Hello? Nope. Try again. There we go. I think that one's good. No. What? Bro. Why does your aim suck so bad? <laughs> Perfect. One more, bro. Right here. Jumping up and down, making it easier to see me. Thank you kindly. Oh, <laughs> that was my bad, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I ran right into that bomb. They look like bags, man, and they're weird bombs, but whatever. Now, with the checkpoints, I don't remember. Do we keep all the precursor orbs and stuff that we collected? Yeah, okay. It looks like it. We just restart from the, the checkpoint. Looks like the, the scout fly, too. We kept that. So, really, all we lost was, well, other than a life, a few steps of progress into the level. Which, not bad. I think we can deal with that. Wait, did we get the last box? Yeah, I think we did. Oh, he can fire at us up here, too. We'll have to be careful. Would hate for him to kill us again. No, oh, son of a bitch. No. I mean, maybe. I'm not. I don't actually remember where the egg is, old lady. Is it around here somewhere? It's up. It's up higher, isn't it? Like up there or something? Oh, you bastard dog! Why am I so bad? Okay, we're going to get the egg, Granny. Maybe I can't make that jump. Ooh, hello. We'll take that, though. Thank you kindly. Now up to get the egg. I'm pretty sure Bird Watching Granny just wants the egg to be safe. But, bro, it'd be hilarious if we, like, knocked it down and she just ran over, cracked it open collect it in a pan or something to eat it. 
that would have been A tier. Not missing anything, no. So what, it's up here, right? If I could jump. the point of collecting all the green things i don't actually remember what they are some way and in, in some way attached to our health i'm sure but uh, uh, screw that dog uh, you bastard run did we make it in time yeah we did oh that dog Get wrecked, egg. Now meet me down here by the egg. Did I miss anything up here? Just a couple dogs. Don't care about them. There's no fall damage, right? Shit, there is. <laughs> I didn't remember fall damage being a thing. Oh, God. We're going to game over on the first real level of the game. This is good. We're doing great. How many lives do we have? Does it say somewhere? No. It might just... It's probably just infinite. I, I would think it's infinite. In a game like this... Honestly, it'd be pretty weird if there was limited lives. Good job. Now meet me down here by the egg. Where is she? Where's the egg? Oh shit, okay. We're a lot farther back than I thought we were. Wait. So we went up there and around. Oh, the egg's all the way back there. Holy hell, okay. So it's not that we're farther back, it's that the egg's farther over than I thought. Is it on? It's probably uh, on this first. Talk to the bird and see if we that flood flood egg. I'm working on it, dude. These dogs scare me. Oh my. This I island is actually kind of pretty. Oh man, I couldn't agree more. The whole game, honestly, I really like the art style of Jack one. The art style and the lighthearted tone, I think, are what makes it so much better than two and three for me personally. No, no. No, 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 no. Look, I mean, they used a similar art style in two and three, small. but like a lot more brown, you know what I mean? Like less colorful, at least from the parts that I've seen. Listen, boys, I'll take this little kid back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. We're gonna be escaping from here in no time, dude. We're gonna make Fire Canyon our bitch. Um, trying to remember where everything else is around here. I know, I think we need to power up those balloon looking things over there. I think we gotta power those up by collecting some like precursor energy or whatever, getting all charged up and then running around them. Or or no, we just break these, huh? Yeah. And those fill up of the uh or the life ego, whatever the hell you wanna call that stuff, the green version of the the ego vents. That's what it was. I remembered we had to power them somehow, just not how necessarily. Where'd that pop out of? There it is. <laughs> That's a good shot right there, man. <laughs> Dog's not in the way at all. Well, I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, 
Baxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily rats, but Daxter does get a job doing something similar eventually. Oh, god damn it, dude. We're having connection problems. Is it is it me or Twitch? Hold on. Okay, my download speeds are fine, but what are my upload speeds? That's what I'm actually curious about. My guess is it's probably Twitch, because it's usually a Twitch problem, but... Yeah, yeah, no, my, <laughs> my upload speed is three times, more than three times as fast as what I needed to be for this, so... It's not a me thing, sadly. There's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully the issue doesn't persist for too long. So we can, like, super jump. Is that enough to get up here? No. Come on, dude. Just grab it. There's probably, like, I can almost guarantee there's a better way to get up here. I just don't remember how exactly. Okay. Hold on. Maybe from, like, the edge over here? Can we, like, hop on these rocks? Or are they too, too sloped? They're too sloped. How get up. Um... Nope. I don't think the super jump actually, like, yeah, takes us any higher than just double jumping. Well, maybe a tiny bit higher, but... Hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to it. There's definitely a way to get up there. I just don't remember how. Belly bros. Hey, seagulls! Let's buzz them for kicks. Uh, thank you for joining the chat. Sadly, I don't know what that says, man. Can I camera, please? No? Okay. I know that there's, what, behind a couple of these? I don't remember which ones, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they're trying to hide stuff from us. There we go. Get wrecked. Honestly, I kind of forgot that the the roll dash thing, whatever you want to call it, also works as an attack. <laughs> when we hit that first one a moment ago, I thought we were just stunned from, like, taking damage, but no. We just came to a stop because we hit the dude. Thankfully, we were okay. Why does he hate seagulls so much, man? Daxter's such an idiot. He's good comic relief, though, for the game. <laughs> Push the stumps. Oh. You can... I do not remember that at all from when I played before. <laughs> I will go back up and try that, though. God, man, my nose is still all stuffy and whatnot. I don't know why, like, <laughs> I've been gaming for, like, 26 years or something like that, but I still succumb to the urge sometimes to just, like, 
try to look around corners with my actual head. <laughs> like, <laughs> it doesn't work that way, my guy. <laughs> you, would, you would think I would know that by now, but still can't help but but do it every once in a while. That's what you need. Um, oh, oh, dick. A VR headset for. So when I turn my head in real life, it turned the the head of the character in game. Well, I think I found the stump that needs pushed. Um, hmm, okay, hold on. There's probably something else to it. Like maybe I need a power orb or something like that. In order, or not power orb, but the, the, Oh, there's a closer one too. The uh, the uh, the precursor energy coursing through my veins. <laughs> I probably need that first, which I think yeah, I was gonna say there's some like right over here. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So uh, I gotta, gotta get the blue us. stuff. You were close. Push the head. Okay. <laughs> Push the head. Like, oh, are they saying from the top? Okay, hold on. Like, maybe from up here, just pound it? No. Close push the head. What does that mean? <laughs> well, I'm going to go collect this uh, thing real quick before I forget it's over here. Unless this is a very good troll. Maybe? I legitimately cannot remember. <laughs> it's been so long since I've beaten the game like proper. I'm thinking we need some energy, right? So what would push the head mean? Oh, wait. There we go. I forgot this was a thing. <laughs> the uppercut. I forgot the uppercut was a thing. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I knew, like, you could uppercut, but I couldn't remember how to do it. So I was like, oh, I just must be misremembering or something like that. But, <laughs> but then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just hit me that you can uh, do that. Because can't you do, like... I, I think... I don't remember. <laughs> I feel like that's another move that I've seen used in the speedrun at some point to, like, get places or get to places that you're not supposed to get to. That must be all of those. Nice, nice. <laughs> Holy shit, Jack is strong. You're not kidding, man. <laughs> Just uppercutting those things. Now, where... Okay, so from... No. Where's the closest power thing? Because that's the super jump or whatever. But we need to be all powered up for that to work. So there's got to be one around here somewhere. But the Lord knows I can't remember where. I don't think it's up on top here. I think this is just another... Um, like whatever you want to call those things. That you take the power to when they raise up with a bunch of precursor orbs in them.
Oh. Take that one, please. Thank you. Oh, that was... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was easier than I remembered. We have to get to the power cell before oh. The it up again. It's like... Okay, well... I don't think we're going to make it in time because I forgot that it was a race. That was slow. That was slow. No, you bastard. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We got this. We can collect these while we're waiting for him to get back on his perch, on his nest. Come on. Nice. Hopefully that was all of them underwater. <laughs> Collecting things underwater is just a wee bit annoying. Alright. Now just run. <laughs> and try not... To grab the stupid ledges of everything. There we go. What? I. How did I like hit it but not collect it? Gotta go, shutting down because of the storm, BRB guys. Take your time, man, and be safe. So there's like. There's the precursor energy up here. We don't have to, like, run that all the way over, though, right? That would be... Oh, shit, dude. Ooh, hi. Forgot about the stuff behind the waterfall. Never forget about the stuff behind the waterfall. Surely there's, like, some precursor energy closer than, than these ones up here. Yeah, that's way too far away, man. What am I missing? It's not up here. Was there some on the beach that I just forgot about somehow? No. Okay, um, see, there's like, there's some up there. Can we, is it possible to run it over to here that quickly from the ones on the beach or up top there? I feel like these are too far away, man. Oh. I mean, I guess if we collect a couple of them, they'll, like, stack, right? So maybe if we grab the ones up here, starting from, like, where the egg is or whatever, maybe we can run it over there. Also... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, I didn't get to watch the PlayStation Showcase um, today, but I did read all of the stuff that was announced afterwards, and I saw that that was one of the one of the things. Metal Gear Solid Triangle, I think they called it, right? Triangle Snake Eater. And they're doing some sort of, like, re-release of 1 and 2. Maybe three as well. I don't remember. And then they're doing a, a full remake of Snake Eater, which is pretty sick. I wish they would have started with one and then just did the, like, remakes in order or whatever. But take what we can get, right? Yeah, that's not even close. Hmm, 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 
I must be missing an energy source somewhere closer, man. There's got to be one around here somewhere. See, I'm still a little bit annoyed with uh, the Resident Evil remakes. The fact that they didn't do those that way either. Like, they just skipped one. I know they did the HD remaster of one for the GameCube. But it's not the same, dude. Like... Exactly, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It'd be awesome to have a uh, RE1 remake. Because RE1's honestly one of my favorites. Well, 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> it's just all three of those. But, like, of the original trilogy, RE1 stands up surprisingly well. And the GameCube remake was good, but the extra stuff that they put in it... Like, I like the extra exploration stuff that they put in outside of the mansion. But I was always annoyed with, like, the inside the mansion changes they made. With, like, the zombies coming back to life as the red versions of them. And the, the stupid one-way door that they introduced. Like, that stuff just annoyed me more than anything. Bro, I think I'm going to have to give up on this one. Just go somewhere else for now, because I do not, for the life of me, remember how to get here with any energy. I'm going to do one run, I think, with the energy from the very beginning here, like stacking it up and seeing how close we can get, but... But I don't think it's going to be enough. You didn't mind the doors? Crimson heads can fuck off? See, the reason that the doors annoyed me was just because then... You have to, like... If you go through the door more than once or twice or whatever, it gets shut. So now, instead of, like, just going through the door to get where you need to go, you have to go all the way around the freaking mansion. And that's what annoys me, like... Nope. Not enough. Son of a bitch, dude. How do we how do we get up there? Cause that one's too far. Those three combined or four combined, whatever, are too far. There's an energy source up top there, it looks like, but I can't get to that one until I can jump up the first one here. What really annoys me is I don't remember ever having a problem with it before when I finished the game, but I can't remember now, so. Oh well, just gonna skip it for now. Like I said, not necessarily trying to 100% anyways. Hunters 2. <laughs> I didn't mind the Hunters 2 too much, um, but the I hated the Crimson Heads, man. They annoyed the shit out of me. And uh, that I really didn't like that door made shortcuts really gratifying which is a big part of the gameplay loop IMO sure I guess but like I don't know man it's just nah I don't think it needed it to be honest like because like as far as I remember I, I could be wrong I've certainly been wrong about things before but the the one specific door that I'm thinking of was the only way or was the shortcut, basically, is what I'm trying to say, right? Like, that was the way to get from the one side of the mansion to the other, like the south side to the north side quickly, was through that door. There was no other shortcut besides just going all the way around the mansion, to the best of my memory, at least. Um, at some point, I think the door gets, like, broken or torn down or something. I don't remember, but... Or maybe you get a key for it at some point or something i don't remember i feel like there was some way to to open it up eventually but at least in the early game it was just annoyed me <laughs> that they locked that one specific door they should have just left it your companion fixed it okay that's what it was represents my gratitude my memory doesn't work so well if it wasn't obvious enough. <laughs> I did I did beat one. Um, 
on both stories, like two playthroughs of it. Um, but it was, I don't know, like four years ago or something like that. So couldn't remember all the specifics. Where's the, the boat? So we can go back to the island. Is it over here? Yeah. This one. Maybe we should go root out the fisherman. I heard he was in the jungle fishing by the lower river. Oh, okay. So we got to go over there first. You've played it a few times. See, after playing through one original and one remake, I haven't had the desire to play it again, to be honest with you. Like, both stories on both. Um, I... If they made a remake, I would be super down to play through that one. But, like, I just didn't feel like there was anything else I needed to, to accomplish in the game after playing through both stories. Honestly, that's how I felt about, like, all of the Resident Evil games. I really, really enjoyed 1, 2, and 3. But, um... After playing through it once, like, I, I never felt like there was any real reason to go back to them. It was, what, number three? That has the, uh, like, semi-random events or whatever. Or, no, the, the multiple choices. That's what it was in three. So, like, I guess it would be kind of neat to see what the differences were with the different choices but i don't think it made that big of a difference invisible enemy mode <laughs> that sounds terrible <laughs> that just sounds like an excuse to rage quit man <laughs> that sounds so bad now i know they do have really cool stuff in them like the the rocket launcher and and like uh infinite ammo and all kinds of fun stuff that you can unlock for for replays and of course like on harder difficulties and stuff like that but I just, my thing with like most games, I just have too many games to really go back and replay that many of them. Unless they're like top tier all time favorites, like Kingdom Hearts. Like I've replayed that game multiple times, but it's one of my top five games of all time, you know? Even one of my other favorite games like God of War, when I was younger and didn't have as many games, I replayed it a fair few times, but since I've gotten older... I haven't replayed God of War 1 in, like, I don't know, man, 9, 10 years, something like that. Hell, the last time I actually finished Final Fantasy 7, which may be my number one game of all time, has been... Oh, you bastard. Has been quite a while. I've played it a little bit with, like, mods and stuff like that. Um because it changes up the gameplay, but I haven't actually, like, gone through and finished it again in a long time. Someday, hopefully someday soon, I do plan on replaying Kingdom Hearts 3, because um, I never did my, my, or finished my hard difficulty run on that one, or, like, the hardest difficulty that they added with the, the DLC later. And I do want to do that at some point. Because I've done it with all the other ones. I would feel wrong not to do it with that one. Plus finishing all of the uh, secret bosses. Because I never beat... Uh... Oh, what's his name? The Final Fantasy Versus 13 knock... Knock... Knock off. <laughs> knock this. Knock off. I can't remember his freaking name. But anyways, <laughs> I never... Yuzora, thank you. I never, uh, I never beat Yuzora. Because I, I did face him. But then I was like, I can either spend a bunch of time grinding on my original save file to get the levels that I need, the levels and gear that I need to beat him effectively, or I can just wait until I do my completionist hard mode playthrough and then deal with him then. And so I decided to just do that instead, but I never got around to, to doing my hard mode run, so <laughs> I've never actually beaten Yazora. Would you say that Yazora was harder than Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1? I know personally... What does this do? 
Oh. Okay. Hey, we can follow the beam to find the next tower. Yes, we can. Anyways, I really struggled with Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1, is what I was going to say. At least on proud mode. But uh, beating him was a huge accomplishment, man. Felt amazing. He's a lot more aggressive. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I still want to do it, though. At some point, man. It's going to be done. Possibly on stream, maybe not, I don't know, but. Is it? Oh, that's one of the towers? Okay. Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there. But we need to beat like all the other Kingdom Hearts games first, so I don't know when, if ever, it'll happen on stream. Plus, let's be honest, Kingdom Hearts 3 is the worst of the bunch. Outside of Chain of Memories, I know some of y'all like Chain of Memories, but <laughs> my opinion on Chain of Memories has not changed much. Can I... No, I cannot jump over to there. So around we go. These things keep coming back. What am I... There's got to be, like, some way to actually kill them. Chain of Memories and 3 greater than Dream Drop Distance and 358. I don't know. I didn't mind Dream Drop Distance. Um, The having to switch between Riku and Sora was kind of dumb. Like, it just took you out of the experience at times. But most of the time, I felt like it was like uh paced out in such a way where you could like complete whatever damn it complete whatever you were doing before the game made you switch so like it wasn't too bad um and 358 for if you consider the fact that it was meant to be like a mobile game right like on the on the ds and you just play it in in short bursts while like not necessarily doesn't necessarily apply to us here in America, but like on a train ride or something like that, right? You play through a mission or two while you're on the train and then you get where you're going and you stop sort of deal. I don't think it's too bad. Or like if you were to play it on your lunch breaks at work or something like that. But yeah, if you're just like sitting down and playing 358, then I I totally get it. Like <laughs> that, would, that would suck to just try to play nonstop from beginning to end. 358, I think is the only one that I haven't finished like all the way through. I watched the uh, the story. Oh, and and Union Cross, but does Union Cross even count, really? I watched the uh, the story for 358 on whichever disc it was on. Uh, the one HD remaster, 1.5, 2.5. I don't remember, but whichever one. And then I have played through a decent bit of it, but I never got around to, like, finishing it, finishing it. And I like the story for 358, so. Woo! Is want to try the challenge. Yes, let's go. Two types of 200 pounds, you say? Okay. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <laughs> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. Can't miss more than 20 pounds or catch any poisonous fish. In this river. Eels, whatever. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch. I remember when we were playing this for the uh, gauntlet that I really struggled with it. I don't remember struggling when I completed the game before. 
but I'm actually gonna have to focus a little bit here. We got this, it's fine. Just can't miss more than 20 or catch any poisonous fish. Or 20 pounds, that is. Damn it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. We've... Okay, that was bad. It's fine. We're halfway there. Oh, God. Come on, dude. 172. Almost there. Bro, this is just mean. Why is there <laughs> why is there so many poisonous ones all of a sudden? Okay. Just need 12 pounds. Let's go! You caught 200 pounds of fish. That's bad for a couple of land lovers. Here's the power set I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock whenever you like. If only catching 200 pounds of fish was that easy in real life, man. I <laughs> we're in the wrong line of work. Need to be fish mo uh, fishmongers? That's the right word, right? Just catch and sell fish, dude. 10 minutes of work gets you 200 pounds. Sell that for a couple a couple dollars of fish and like you'd be done, dude. Like, or a couple dollars a pound, rather. Screw it, you could sell it for like 50 cents a pound, man. Just like undercut the market. I can make so much money, right? <laughs> It'd be insane. Excuse me, I like that. Thank you. End world hunger real quick. Purely with fish. Is that all of them? I hope that's all of them. I can't jump any higher than that, so. Yeah, it looks like all of them. I keep, see, I keep like tilting my head up trying to look. Okay, now we were going somewhere. We were going to that one. Oh, that was close. I think this is the last one, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. It wouldn't be showing this cutscene if it wasn't. So that should be another power orb from the uh, mayor dude, right? Yeah. that windbag of a mayor that he owes us yeah. big time for connecting the village energy beam. But that's not all there is to do here. We can climb that tower. In the middle. Get some goodies from it. Somehow. I don't remember the specifics of it, but I know it's possible. You know something this game's missing? The fake shadow directly underneath the character. It's not as realistic, but it makes it so much easier whenever you're trying to gauge your jumps and stuff. If you just have like the little circle shadow that's always directly underneath you. It makes it really uh, a lot easier to judge your jumps like where you're going to land. Okay. Oh, you bastard. So what is it to get another heart piece? 50? Hey, there's little lightning marks on those posts, and there's lightning coming out of that vent over there. Are you thinking what I... We also need to go down bottom there. Ooh, isn't there like, yeah, it's gonna say something out here too. I will take that, thank you.
Mm -hmm. oh, that's one of those little pad thingies. I need to find more power. I can probably use the same one we just had. Just run over here more quickly, actually. Because we had a decent amount of time on it. I mean, we took that big detour. Going out in the water and all that. So if we just... <laughs> I don't think the mic's going to pick it up. Because I use a RTX voice. But it sounded like something was exploding outside my house. There's this car. I don't know like who it is or anything like that because I haven't actually seen them but their subs are turned up to the freaking max man it's ridiculous um like I can feel the subs shaking from inside my house it's <laughs> ridiculous honestly you and then can I make it to I was worried about making it to the jump pad, but I guess there's all these energy sources right here. What you dick. Oh, it takes me over here, though. Oh, right there. No, you bastard. Okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh... Grab the other ones first. Grab you. You. Actually, I guess I should have grabbed that one first. Oh, well. Let's go. Okay, now I think it's just climb the tower, and then I'm pretty sure this area is done. I don't think we're missing anything else. Oh, God. <laughs> Thought that thing was going to smack me. We need to get to the top of that tower. That's the plan. Okay, we're good. Thank goodness there's energy sources in here, too. Wait, that chest had an energy source in it. I wonder... Maybe on the map with the... The, the beach, the, the level we were on, you know, previously. Maybe one of the chests on the beach has an energy source and I just missed it? That's certainly a possibility. Okay, nothing like hiding around here. Oh, God. No! <laughs> you bastard. Okay, well, they're already powered up at least, so it should be fine. <laughs> oh, no, just... Okay, just ride it. I... Why? <laughs> Why? Why am I struggling with this so hard? Get back here! My god, dude. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just take it easy. Take it slow. This isn't hard. They're just moving platforms. <laughs> For Christ's sakes. I thought I was going to miss it again, man. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We're good. Oh, buddy. <laughs> We're definitely missing something else in this area because we didn't get the... Uh... We didn't get the message about 
Getting all of the flies, right? And there's a jump thing here. Hmm. What am I missing? I, mean, I guess there could be some in here. You bastard. Is that like a giant energy source? Can we like overcharge with that? That'd be cool. Something's happening. Wow, did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew oh. I them on. There must be places okay. to other eco vents as well. So that activated eco vents all over the world, it said. So maybe now on the beach. There will be an eco vent that'll let us uh Oh, that's just an eco vent. Bruh, okay, 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 yeah. I think we need to go back to the beach. Backtrack, yeah. Little Metroidvania esque. Oh, you're the dude. That's been annoying me this whole time. We have, like, no health, though, do we? Um. That answers that. No, we didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, rip. Thank God there's no, like, game overs in this game, dude. We can just jump over that, right? Yeah. So how do we... Oh. It's like we need... Oh. Okay, I see. I see. Just gotta survive, basically. When I saw that jump pad there, I thought we were gonna need to, like, jump up and super slam him or something like that, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything that complicated, actually. Oh, dick! Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go. That was too close, though, man. For for the first boss of the game, that was too close to to dying. We're definitely still missing stuff, though, right? Oh no, never mind. Okay, yeah, we got everything. Or at least all of the, um... All of the orbs. We might be missing a couple of the... Whatchamacallits, the precursor orbs, but... One orb... Well, yeah, that's the one that we gotta get from the, uh, from the mayor, still. Because the mission was technically in this area because we had to power up the windmill from here or whatever. But we don't actually get to collect the orb until we go back to the mayor to collect it. I'm pretty sure the only thing we're missing might be a couple of the... 
the little ones. But anyways, yeah, return to the mayor. That's all for that one. How do we see... Yeah, see, we're missing five of those, whatever the hell those are called. <laughs> the precursor... The precursor orbs, right? Yeah, and the other ones are like power, power orbs or something like that. My guess for the five that we're missing are probably on that tower somewhere. I remember this is one of the last areas I completed when I 100% in the game as well. Because there was like a tricky little spot somewhere that a couple things were hiding at. I don't know for sure those are the ones that I'm missing now, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same ones. They're really stingy with the life stuff, aren't they, man? Only giving you, like, five per chest. Not even a whole heart piece or, like, a quarter of a heart piece or anything. It's one-tenth of a heart piece per chest. Do we at least have enough to buy... Well, we can buy one. We still got to go to the fishing island, though. To get them from the, the mask dude up there. Oh, actually, we've collected enough that we could just leave, go on to the next world, but... We're gonna take our time on that, though. <laughs> we might not be trying to 100% the game, but we're at least gonna explore all the worlds and stuff. Mr. Mayor, sir. Thank you kindly, sir. You don't have my vote for re-election, but I'll gladly take the power cell. Now for the boat. Where there? Oh. I know there's like a giant fish that'll destroy you in this water. So like it just scares me in general to go in the water. But I'm pretty sure it only comes after you if you go too far out into the water. So it's a little bit of an unfounded fear, but like, <laughs> things just scarred me for life from the, the many, many times I've been eaten by it in my uh, previous playthrough. I love how well they optimize the loading in this game, man. Like, that's beautiful. <laughs> Being able to just go from level to level like that with no loading times. And then, like, that right there even, coming to this island, that was definitely a masked loading time with the, uh, the boat trip over here. But still, it was so smooth, you know? Just that one little tiny cut in between the main island and here. Like... Excuse me, sir. There we go. Anything down here that I'm missing or forgetting? No, didn't look like it. This time, Daxter, try not to fall into the eco. Even if it was technically my fault. I kind of ran into you. Uh, can I just long jump that? I can. Where'd he go? All over to there. I don't know if I can long jump that one. Well, not like that, I can't. 
<laughs> Hope we don't actually have to like catch up to him because <laughs> I am way too slow for that. Shit, dude. We might have to because <laughs> he just turned around and went the other way. Where'd he go? Can we get a, a like a jump on him? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Knock over those bones. Knock over those bones? You dick. Why why can't I double jump? There. You know what would make this a lot easier? I wonder if there's a power source around here somewhere that I could abuse. Where is he? Okay, there he is. I feel like this is our best chance, man. So we can just scare him down a little bit. And then if I could just see... Dude. Oh, you bastard. Okay. No, oh, that was terrible. Whatever. Chase him back the other direction again. Is the sculptor's muse really worth all of this trouble? I said we just let him be, man. He obviously doesn't want to go back home. like see down here that would make it so much easier to know when to jump down there we go man holy hell more trouble than you were worth <laughs> just stuff him in the bag stomp on him a few times my god dude oh you dick Alright, anything we missed while we were chasing that thing around? We kill you, not that there's a whole lot of point, but... Oh, okay, can't stand on that. I don't even remember, like, which way... ...we were coming from before now. This power source is probably needed for something. The world may never know. I'm really bad at this. Like, I don't remember struggling with it at all when I was younger is the worst part. Just gotten worse with age, obviously. What's down here? That looks interesting. Oh, it's the bike thing. How do we? Okay. Oh shit! That just takes it back. Okay. No, I didn't want to do that. I thought it was like a boost pad or something. R1 and L1 give us a little hop. I think if we run into stuff, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I thought it, like, broke. I must be thinking of a different game. But we can't. Yeah. Get wrecked. Wait, what? What happened? Why did we die? Oh, you know what? I bet... 
the spiky bits probably hurt us when we run into them. So we probably need to run into like the actual dudes, not the not the spiky parts. They're like bombs or something like that. That would make sense. Is that another vent, or is that one of the ones that raise up? Can't tell the difference now. Bastard. I think that's a vent. Maybe not, though, because we already unlocked all the vents, right? Because I assume it's just one per world, one of the switches per world. Direct. Ooh. Please and thank you. Before we get too deep, I want to hop back on that vehicle, though. There it is. Oh, wait. Um, can we swim in this water? Yeah, okay. With being all murky and stuff, I didn't know if it was, like, poisonous or... There we go, yeah. That's the way to do it. Also, obviously, we need to go up this ramp at some point. Where is it? There it is. Ooh. I'll take those, please. You can really hop in this thing, man. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't have enough speed. I tried to hop last moment. I thought maybe that would work, but no luck. Ah, oh, you bastard. It's hard to stay on that thing. You're dead. I think there's only one more of that one, but more focused on this right now. Okay, there's those ones done. Now we just got to make that last turn and get the orb. The power cell. Wait, was there more of those guys? I thought that was it. Oh, no. Close. Bro, come on. There's not like a break, is there? No. Doesn't look like there's a break or a reverse. I don't think this is going to be enough speed. No, it's not. You can definitely like get this thing to go faster, man. I don't know if in this area you can, but like... That little speedometer thing at the bottom isn't even close to being maxed out from the looks of it. Oh, bruh. <laughs> missed one freaking orb. Got the power cell, missed the orb. I think if we just go slow and jump straight. I think we'll be able to get it without having to worry too much about the speed. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to drift right up to the edge of it, though. I, th I thought we'd stop a little bit beforehand. 
have a small chance to build up some speed. Hello, sir. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What are you up to today, my good sir? Ah, there's the other... Oh, there's like two or three more ships. Holy shit. You're dead. Now where... Where are you going? I don't think there's like a free camera mode. He's coming. Get him! Oh, you bastard. What? Okay. <laughs> Why? Huh? Why was he so hard to hit? Playing the baseball version of Football Manager? I didn't even know that was a thing. Is it just called Baseball Manager? Like, because that would make sense. <laughs> is it made by like the same studio and everything? Do they just have a baseball version or is it some something else? Out of the park baseball? No, okay. So, yeah. I'm assuming it's something else. GG. Alright, now back to what we were doing before. Studio is different. I figured whenever I saw the name. Of course, I'm not even sure if the same studio makes all of the manager games, because, like, there's Football Manager, but then there's also Motorsports Manager, which is pretty similar. And then. Was that it? I, f I feel like there was another one, but that might have been the only two that I've played. Football manager, motorsports manager. Never been much of a uh, soccer fan, so football manager never really did it for me. Um, not a huge motorsports person either, honestly, but motorsports manager is actually pretty fun. I played a, a decent bit. Not a ton, but a decent bit of that. Oh, we need energy. Thankfully, there's some right there. The one who makes it is called Out of the Park Developments. Oh, okay. Oh, good for them, man. They they know what they like. That's... God damn it. Anderson manager. <laughs> that makes me think of, like, uh, one of the game development management games. Are you playing a game, managing a team, making games? It's like eSports manager a thing. So I wonder... I don't know, man. I feel like that could be a decent time, honestly. <laughs> like, trying to think of what you would really do, but then, like, I started thinking, what do you actually do in, like, football manager? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, not, not much, man. <laughs> you just pick who to sign, who not to sign. Um, at least in the one I played, there wasn't really any stuff you did with, like, training or anything like that. I hate infinite death holes. <laughs> I hate them so much. At least there seems to be a checkpoint, like, right here. That's nice. Or is that just the beginning of the level? That might just be the beginning of the level when we're dying super early. Actually, that seems kind of legit. <laughs> you just realize you spend all week managing people, and then you come home and now you're doing it for fun. Nice, dude. That sounds like a living hell. Managing people all day. You and Choco Boat. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I gave up on that life, dude. <laughs> Screw all that. <laughs> Not worth it. Though I do really like management games. Um, not so much this hyper-realistic ones, but like the tycoon, ty tycoon games, I guess, are more like what I'm talking about. Like the the zoo tycoons and the, the city builders and hospitals and all of those things. Whatever, just <laughs> death warp, that's all. That's <laughs> It was on purpose, totally. No, now we're actually back at the beginning. Which is really close to what we were doing before. Oh, well. Yeah. 
you just like staring at graphs, which is pretty much what you do at work now. I don't know, man. I got plenty of Excel sheets I can work on at any time, so. <laughs> you know, honestly, though, I do spend more time doing that than I do actually like playing games and shit, so I guess you could say I enjoy the same sort of thing. Visualizing, visualizing data is just, it's cool, it's fun. And making tools to do work for you and whatnot, also fun. Where am I trying to go exactly? I think, this map is confusing me. Um, I need to be careful where I'm jumping to too so I don't fall in a death pit again. Okay, do I need Eco to open that door? Well, there's Eco right outside of it, so no. Should be good. Don't hit me into the murky water, please. Oh, God, okay. Can I make that jump? Not like that, I can't. Oh, what? Did it? Oh, thank you, game. You're so kind. That checkpoint was A tier, dude. Missed the jump. Puts me right where I wanted to go. Aw, oh, dude, that eco disappeared like right as I was picking it up. We really need some more green orbs before we die, you bastard. I don't need your sass, Daxter. I don't know why I felt the need to collect that. The door's obviously already powered up. Uh, ignore the big dudes. Big dudes are new. Collect as many of the green orbs as I can in the meantime. Though. Or just don't get hit. That Honestly, that'd probably be the better strategy. I give up. Please, green orbs. Stop dropping the red ego. Thank you. Don't then instantly take a hit. Uh, what? <laughs> a hit. Jesus, I can't word. You the last one. Let's go. Now these are explosive, right? No, okay, they just need blown up by the by the bombs. Which don't seem to shoot that far, so I probably have to go up there and take control of myself. If memory serves, that's what we're doing. Let's keep you out of the use, okay? I was tempted to jump into the Dark Ego myself just to see what would happen to Jack, but I'm pretty sure the only thing that would happen to Jack if we did that is death. <laughs> just dying. Okay, so this is the worst camera angle. Thank you. Um, okay, so we must not be able to do anything from here. I guess we got to climb that. I was thinking there would be, like, a way up onto there from here, but sadly doesn't appear to be. Can I? I mean, we already collected everything, so I guess it doesn't really matter if we die. Yeah, no, that's just death. Uh, well, it's not necessarily death, but it's gonna be here in just a moment. <laughs> Freaking fish. Can I? No, okay. Thought maybe we could climb on that. Mm. 
Ooh, thank you. Red Eco, Best Eco. Ooh, there's a way I haven't gone before. Up, please. Thank you. Couple places I haven't been to before. I'll take the scout fly. And... Up. There we go. You're gonna fall. Oh, God. I mean, it was pretty obvious it was gonna fall from the look of it, but I didn't think it was, like, instant death, you know? I thought there would be enough time for us to run across it. We just couldn't stop on it. <laughs> Obviously wrong, though. Anything down there? I don't think so. I don't think we need this for anything, right? Yeah, no. No reason to rush. Okay. Now we still gotta figure out how to get up on that bridge, though. Probably over near the water where we were before here. Right, I'm assuming that's just like a long winding path that goes down. Huh. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> Where's our checkpoint? All the way back here. Okay. I gotta remember how to get back to where we were on the, the, the dinghy, the boat, the whatever you want to call it. There's like knockback whenever you hit these guys, man. And when they hit you, actually. <laughs> There's some knockback there as well. Alright. I was hoping maybe we could just, like, ignore them to get through a little bit quicker, but, uh, that's a no. So there's our boat that we came in on. Where's the boat... that we can use to explore the waters around here, though. Is it over here? No. This is just a big loop. This is where we were at before. My memory doesn't memory so well. To the left, maybe. This way. Yes, okay, this looks promising. There we go. Okay, so we need to take that up, but whenever we got into like that spot we weren't supposed to be in, wasn't there... Yeah, a couple orbs that we missed over here somehow. Pick those up. Now we can start the climb. Maybe we can start the climb. Does that attach the top of this? Hope it is, otherwise I am completely lost. Is there a way to just like drop? 
Okay. <laughs> if there didn't seem to be, I just kind of dropped after a while. Like, it wouldn't let me jump up, I'm assuming, because the enemy was right there on the top. But, uh, I also couldn't drop down, so it was like... It was just bad all around. Oh, dude, how do we get... Over there? It's a whole nother area we've missed. All of this just so we can blow up those stupid chests, hopefully, in the arena. Maybe. There, okay. I was gonna say, isn't there a cannon up here somewhere? I could have swore this is how we did it. can't actually see. Hold on. I think our angle's like... Is it too high? Oh, it charges. It's a charge shot. Okay. That makes sense. Kind of. Is that one going to blow it up? Yeah. I think that's all of them. There's nothing else I can, like, blow up with this, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Now, before we jump down from here, is there anything else that we're missing? wonder, can I make that jump? Oh, so close, dude. Oh, well. Get eaten. I accept it. Let's put me here. Uh, I don't think this will help me get where I want to go. We need to get back to the Colosseum area, but also need to find that area that we just missed this whole time. remember that really or is it over here now nah, we've been over here before right yeah yeah no we've definitely been over here before okay this isn't anything new then actually neither is that Shoot. Where art thou? Okay, well, we know where the Colosseum is. We might as well just go ahead and go there. And then we can try to figure out how to get to that other area. I would have been so mad if the chest respawned because we died since we blew them all up.
Wait, does this door open? There we go. Okay. Ow. Ow. Is this that side we were looking at that was missing? Maybe. Hopefully. Definitely a bunch of stuff over here we had missed, so... It's the best lead we got. There's a thingy down there. Is there any other power source, or is that one the only one? God, I really need to be careful not to die. I don't know where the checkpoint's gonna be at. Only your grandmother can make a 15 mi minute drive home an hour. <laughs> oh man. I feel for you, dude. Oh, it was just on the other side of the ship? Bro, that would have made getting to the Coliseum so much easier, too. <laughs> if I remembered that it uh, looped around like that. Okay, so we need to try and get that power ego stuff over to here uh, don't die don't die hmm yeah I don't think there's enough man with the one let's go we can go like up or something right yeah let's go up maybe there's more up here there we go. Oh, you bastard! We were right there! Don't worry, I'll avenge you! What? Um, where is this chest from that? This is okay? I think, yeah, this is okay. We're not far, at least. I hate these guys so much. You dick. That's the last one of you. Now, I just want to know how to open up that other eco vent or whatever it is. I was thinking maybe there would be like one of the full power sources up here, but it doesn't appear to be. Which means it's got to be... Wait, can we knock this over? Yes! Okay. And then... Let's go! Just barely, dude. All right, we're missing a couple orbs, I think, the the small ones. But other than that, I think, yeah, we're missing 14 of them. But other than that, we've gotten everything else. We've got all the scout flies. We've got all the power orbs. So I think that is good for this level. Now I just got to figure out how the hell to get out of here. And then we can hop on our bike and go to world two, dude. Still got an hour left roughly too, awesome. I do have to go take a pee though. Uh, this way, I think. Can do that after we turn our stuff in. No, leave me alone, my eye itches. I can't attack you right now. This way. I remember. 
Yes, this is before they let Jack talk. <laughs> Jack has no voice in this game. Technically, he tries to talk sometimes, but Daxter always ends up interrupting him <laughs> before he gets the chance to say anything. Which, honestly, I kind of liked it. Like, I'm usually not one of those people that think protagonists need to be unvoiced in games. Like, I mean, it applies more to RPGs than it does, like, platformers. But I know a lot of people weren't happy, for instance, whenever they gave the main character a voice in Fallout 4. And, uh, like, Nintendo refuses to give the player character uh, Link a voice in Zelda and whatnot for role-playing reasons. I never really care about that. I'm, like whatever it doesn't it just doesn't really matter to me um <laughs> yeah optijack my brother there he's one of them um but i don't know there was something quirky about like jack just never being able to say anything in the game oh no we did miss one. Oh well oh wait no that's sentinel beach not misty island Turn the muse to the sculptor. That's who we're going to. Okay. Sculptor. Where are you at, boy? I forgot about the beach, though. We can stop back in there now, too. Well, not right this second. I'm going to go pee, but we'll stop in there before we go to the fire canyon. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, if that is the reason why the you have less dialogue options in Fallout 4, then that sucks. But from what I've read, it seems just as likely that it was just a a choice from the writers. Like, <laughs> keep it simple, stupid, was apparently, like, their motto for that game. So whether you had a voice or not, I don't think it would really matter at the end of the day for, for Fallout 4. Um, I think they just didn't want to have it be complicated. Now... The one argument kind of against voice acting in games, though, for me, would be like playing the old school Elder Scrolls games versus the newer ones. Just the the number of options for what you can ask people about is insane. Honestly, it's a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> like, it can be a bit confusing. Um, but it was really cool to just be able to ask like, you know, you go into a town, you have no idea where you are, what you're doing, whatever, and you can just ask anybody, like, um, like, where, where, did we really just die? Bruh! <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can just, like, ask anybody where the, the tavern that you're looking for is, or, um, the, the temple, or this person, or whatever the case may be. And, like, that was really cool, you know? But at the same time, there was very little uniqueness to any of the dialogue, too. So, I don't know if it's really better. <laughs> Honestly, I think a mix of the two would probably be the best. Like, in Fallout, for instance, Fallout 1 and 2, um, there was an option where you could type things in to ask people about them. So, like, if you need to know about a specific character or something, an NPC, a voiced NPC, may not have a dialogue option leading to them in any way. But you could type into the box, like, where is so-and-so? And, -so? and uh, they might, if they knew anything about it, tell you about it, which was pretty cool. It wouldn't be voice necessarily, but it would still just pop up and show you, which to me, I think, like I said, is kind of the best of both worlds, right? Like, have the unique lines voiced or whatever, that's fine. But then for all of the other lines, for like, where's this person, where's that person, tell me about this item or whatever, uh, all the super generic stuff, just don't have those ones voiced, just have those ones pop up in text. And I think that would be fine, personally. I honestly think that'd be pretty cool. Why did that kill us? <laughs> that was some bullshit. I did the, the poundy thingy, which I think is what triggers fall damage. So fair, 
but I did it after we had like already landed on the freaking cannon. I guess because the cannon's not a flat surface, it didn't technically trigger us as being on the ground yet. So we took all the fall damage, but like, man, that was cheap. There was no reason for that. All right, one more, one more time jumping through these bitches. Let's go. Give me a re-up. Probably didn't need it, but I don't want to have to do this again. Okay, let's not land on the cannon since apparently that just leads to our death. There we go. That should have been the last power orb from there. So now we just got to get him from the, the Tiki dude and get our thingy, and then we can go. I don't think there's anything we need to shoot with this, right? I want to shoot the crab. Get wrecked. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we can really do with this. Okay, get off it. All right, I am going to go use the restroom real quick. And then we're going to do the tiki thing and uh, make a run through Fire Canyon, I guess. So, <laughs> BRB, guys. Uh, hit that forward button. Hello, YouTube land. New game. Autosave is fine. I think I hit no, but whatever. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Oh, I forgot to turn my light back on. There we go. That's good. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? No, 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 wait, wait, but I'm your master! I made you! No, no, oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. I'm back, but I grabbed the best candies in the world. And they're caramel. So, like, they're really chewy. 
the reasons. It's a dark chocolate covering chocolate caramel. They're really freaking good. And surprisingly low in sugar considering it's chocolate wrapped around chocolate caramel, you know? <laughs> like, each one of them only has four grams of sugar. Yeah. Not bad. And they're not like tiny or anything. And they're, you know, a decent size, size of like a normal piece of candy. My God, are they chewy though? All right. They're one of my favorites, honestly. Reasons and Frozen Charleston Chews are like my two favorite candies, man. As far as like just chocolate candies go. Although I am a big fan of Take Five. Take Fives are also really good. Twix used to be like one of my favorite candies. But I don't know, as I've gotten older, I guess my taste buds have just changed or something like that. I still really like Twix, don't get me wrong. But, um, Take Fives and Kit Kats have kind of taken their spot as some of my favorites. Plus, with uh, Kit Kats, I just love the fact that the filling is made with fucked up Kit Kats. That just tickles me pink, so. <laughs> they get an extra spot, like, in the ranking just for, just for that fact. One power cell, and now we need his left eye. You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. Gonna keep my guy. Thank you. Thank you. I should have refilled my drink while I was downstairs. Actually, and think about that. But my cup's almost empty. It's fine. We only got an hour left. I think I'll make it. I think we'll live. Now, can we just go straight up here? Or do we have to go back and talk to the girl before we can do the fire canyon? And also, did we... <laughs> I don't remember. The beach, forbidden jungle. Catch a skull. Okay. I couldn't remember if we actually turned in the little squirrel thingy to the sculptor. I, I knew we collected it, but I couldn't remember if we turned it in before we left. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! I feel like her voice actor also does Rugrats or something like that, man. Try not to hit the thingies. Good job on not hitting the thingies. Also, that eco geyser, I think, is what makes us go faster. I probably should have tried and hit that, but oh well. Same, really? Said so her voice just sounds familiar for some reason. I'm gonna die, dude. <laughs> We're not gonna have to worry about the temperature of this thing, because I'm just gonna die before we make it over there. Oh, I missed the thing. Bro, I cannot control this thing. I've missed, like, all of the flies. Oh, God. Okay, well, thankfully, like, hitting that dude seemed to bounce us. Because <laughs> otherwise, I think we would be dead right now. All right, well, we made it across easily enough, at least. I'll take it. But 
hot in a literal sense right now, too. Oh, God. <laughs> the dad jokes. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me off this thing. Hold on. Nope. I want to activate the teleporter first. So we have a quick way back and forth. And then we'll ride that back trying to... Actually, I don't even know if we can ride it backwards now that I think about it. It'll let us on it, but I don't know if it'll actually let us ride it. Whoa. I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the blue sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! It's Susie, isn't it? I feel oh, like she's Susie. It looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're going to need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some ore. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers and come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. Okay, we will here in just a moment. <laughs> We're only gonna go through Fire Canyon one more time. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a big deal about collecting everything in there, but gotta at least try. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. This isn't. That's not where I wanted to go. Uh, Green Sage's hut. I didn't realize we had uh, another one unlocked actually. I mean, it makes sense. We unlocked it ourselves at the beginning of the game, but I forget things. Now, I'm pretty sure the the bike thing, whatever the hell you want to call it, just teleports to wherever we are. So we should be good. Just run back over to Fire Canyon. I understand their main mode of travel seems to be like teleport gates, but at some point in history they had to travel to either here from the Fire Canyon or Rock Village, whatever you want to call it, or vice versa from here to Rock Village. Why isn't there like a more convenient road set up between the two locations? Hit the balloons to cool off, but not the freaking whatchamacallits. The poison containers. Those aren't going to do us any good. No! Oh! Five. Okay, I think there's only two more. Need to cool down real quick, though. Thank you. There's one. Where's the last one at? Oh god, we're gonna blow up. No! Oh! We were right there, man! We were on that balloon. Okay. Just one more. Right? Yeah, there's only two here. I don't think we missed any early on, so we can... Just try and go as fast as possible through this section. And <laughs> miss all the useful shit. Good job. I don't know if jumping over the little lava things actually helps at all. Like the exposed lava. Your temperature definitely goes up quicker when you're on the exposed lava. My reaction is always to try and jump over it to help, but I don't know if that actually does it anything or not. Can't believe we missed that again. Oh god, dude, we're gonna die again. Right there. Let's go. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now whether we die or not doesn't really matter. We got him. <laughs> That's all we needed. 
Oh, and that was the end, too. Let's go. On to the rock village, my guy. So we can see what kind of party they were throwing. Aha. You're the one hiding things behind your hut. Maybe it was you I was thinking of earlier in the game. Why does this part look different? Like, the boards are a completely different color than the other ones here. Thought maybe they would, like, break if we hit them or something, but... No go. Um, hold on. There's a waterfall, and we learned last time that they like to hide stuff in waterfalls. I mean, pretty much every game dev does. I'm just an idiot for not checking. Oh, God. Get back. Get back. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it might be technically possible to make it across there, but... I don't think we need to. We can just run around. Although. Oh no, there's no way, dude. We're not even close. Okay, you know, nope, nope, nope. Just, <laughs> just do it the normal way, dude. By the time we get done screwing around trying to, to shortcut it, we could just make it the intended way. Forty-five, you say? So I only need ten more? That shouldn't be too bad. Grab it. And go. Nope, not enough. Well, oh, there's one there. Okay. Maybe we can collect, like, a couple. Oh, okay. Rocks hurt. Okay. Um, okay, none there. But if we grab you, and then... I don't know if that was actually, like, beneficial in any way. Damn. Damn, dude, we were close. Maybe we can just run straight from there to here. Not like that, we can't. Hmm. We might have to wait until we unlock, like, a, uh... Some of the whatchamacallits again or something. The vents. Why Rolando? I don't... I'm assuming that means roll. In there, little ones. Maybe? Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> if we roll between the two, maybe. Oh, we missed it. Come on, grab it. That was bad. That was not helpful. Nope, that... <laughs> okay, that was all bad. <laughs> Maybe the other way around. We'll go from this one to the other one. And then... Because we're getting pretty close with the other one already. Need to be a little bit closer. Yes, let's go. That was a tight one, man. All right, now you. You 
thank you, thank you. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? 90 orbs for a power cell? Sure. Oh, you have the orbs. Also, hello, Lele. Even though you didn't say hello, just forced me to take a drink. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm trying to decode it, but I just don't know what it means, man. I mean, Vermelos probably means something like vermin. Dos ratos, like two rats. But I don't know. Now. So we just need to catch you, right? Is there a uh, like a boost around here somewhere? Oh damn it! Why do they just have a bunch of dark eco boxes around here to begin with? That's fine. <laughs> That's fair. That, that was bound to happen. Now where... Can't go that way yet. Where'd the, the, the big dude go? The flying dude? Oh, I remember this section. Um... We need this. Ow. <laughs> it's possible to do this in one go. I've seen it done by speedrunners before. But from what I remember, even from what they've said, like it's very hard to get that in one go right there. Coming back now. All these stupid dark ego plants, come on. Damn, dude. Thought they were purple crabs? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> they're, they're definitely not purple crabs. <laughs> I should probably be grabbing the, the life ego stuff on the way back instead of... Man, come on. We were close enough to trigger that one. Instead of on the way away. My god, dude. Okay. They're so close. I wish they didn't keep popping back up so quick. Just die, all you stupid plants. <laughs> Is that all of them? Thank God, man. <laughs> How am I being rude? <laughs> You're the one that thought plants were purple crabs. <laughs> okay, there's one. How are they purple crabs, man? They, they look nothing like purple crabs. 
Are you drunk? Is that the problem? Where'd he go? There he is. Get back here, you bastard. If there was, like, a boost around here, that would be a major help. Man, you dick. Where'd he go? Wait, did he just... He juked me, dude. And then down? And when the screen be tiny and they squiggle around, they look like crabs? I don't think they look like crabs. I think you're just on drugs. <laughs> There's one flying dude. Where's the other flying dude? The first time I read that, I thought you said, I don't drink after the kids go to sleep. And I'm like, bruh, <laughs> isn't that just a little bit backwards? <laughs> Wouldn't that be like the optimal time to drink? Wait, you're right time to drink? <laughs> Doesn't take much convincing for you, does it? Come here, you bastard. Oh, God. Okay. Forgot your path. I thought you went all the way around for some reason. Let's go. Finley can fend for himself. He has tennis balls now. Yeah, that's all he needs, man. Oh, my God. Everyone knows tennis balls are the optimal weapon to protect yourself with. Now, what do we do with these things again? <laughs> are we trying to scare them somewhere, or... Wait, hydrate? Hold on. I might have a little bit of water left behind me. <laughs> I definitely don't have any of my actual drink left. That's empty. But I might have a little bit of water. I do. I do have water left. Actually, I have more water than I thought I did. I did. Wait, hide, wait. Who's hide and why are we raiding them? Let's go. Wait, is there more of those big things? What's that? Oh. I'm going to have to translate that. I don't know what it means. I'm sorry. But I'm very curious what this is at the moment. The purple portal thingy. Oh, it's rings. Okay, 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 okay. I can handle that, I think. Oh, God. That turned on me all of a sudden. Oh, son of a bitch. Hopefully they're not timed. Thankfully, they don't seem to be. Ah, oh, you bastard. Last one, maybe? Nope. Ow. Let me stop the life eco thing. If it'll end this, there we go. 
I'm gonna hit that, aren't I? Nope, we're good. Let's go. Hold on one sec. Uh, you have to get them in the hole. Okay. Ah, oh, it's another one. I really hope this is the last one of these dudes. Oh, wait, is there another ring challenge? I just saw a blue ring up there. I don't remember there being that many rings when I played this before. We can probably, like, take a shortcut there, huh? Nice. Thank you. Oh, God. I forgot to pick up health. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Now, we can scare those dudes into their holes, hopefully. Where is your hole? Right there. What? Why'd you not go in it? Go in your hole. Okay. A couple of them went in. Now will you go in? Let's go get our power cell from the geologist. Oh wait, was that it? That wasn't too bad. Um, where's the exit? Is this it? No. Well, we probably don't need to rush back there, but there is a whole lot of shit in here that I've missed. How do we get up here? That extra health is always nice. There we go. I think I see the ramp. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Now just actually go around it instead of jumping off. Or falling off for that matter. Oh, that was close. Okay. We'll come back for that. Nope, nope, nope. Oh god, no, no, bruh. Okay. Uh, damn, dude. Okay, it looks like we gotta do it all in one go. I don't see any other way to get up there. Oh. We were close the first time. We can do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm surprised we stayed on there. I thought for sure we were falling off just then. This thing really needs a break. Ah, oh, bro. Didn't even make it as far as we did the first time. Just being too impatient. There we go. Okay. Don't fall now. We good. We good.
Let's go. All right. Now, the blue circle. We can do that one. And then, I'm pretty sure this, like, building in the center, there's something we can do there somehow. Not sure exactly how it works, but there's definitely, like, a power cell on the walls of it. Which makes me think, like, there's some way either in it or on it or something. How do we... Quick! You've got to fly through each ring before they turn up! I know! How do we... Oh, that works as, like, a ramp! Okay, 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 okay. Now, I'm guessing the blue rings expire more quickly, just from the looks of it. And the first ones, I mean, it makes sense. Second challenge be more difficult than the first. Oh. Bastard. We got this. Just gotta believe, dude. Believe in the power of the heart of the cards, or whatever Yu-Gi-Oh said. I don't think, or at least I hope it's not like a global timer. I think it's just like one to the next timer at least. So like if we take a little bit of extra time on one, it's not that big of a deal. Let's go! Okay. Bro, if I had, like, accidentally docked the bike right there and got off, I would have been so mad. <laughs> like... No! Bro! No, dude. Okay. That one is a bit of a pain. You got to hit that jump like perfect. Wait, there's a the metal chests have like orbs in them, right? Yeah. Now, how do we get back? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. I couldn't remember how to get back up there from where we were. If it continues to give us trouble, we can just skip it. <laughs> we don't have to collect all of the or all the, the power sources. The completionist in me just wants to. Okay. These ones are all relatively easy. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh shoot, I forgot it like, I forgot how far it was down here. Okay, we good, we good, we good. Now this one. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up both these things real quick. There. Get them out of the way. <laughs> Make it a little bit easier on myself. Oh, it's cool once all the lights turn on here. There we go. Okay. Try again. Last time. Uh, I can't get up from here. I feel like that's probably the last one, too, because we start, like, right up here. So if it's not the last one, it's probably one of the last ones. Hey, 
Hey, thank you for the follow, YME21. Uh, where are we? There we are. Okay. I thought we were going to miss that one, dude. Oh, dude, it's like storming off in the distance. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. Bro, for real? <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good still. Yeah. Woo! I was a little worried, not gonna lie. There we go, dude. No, 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 no. Okay. Hurry, 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 hurry. Please don't time out. Bruh, how many more? I thought for sure that was gonna be like the last one, man. Where's the next one? It's right here. Ha. Ha ha ha. Please tell me it's almost over. Let's go. Thank God, man. <laughs> I was worried. After all the times we struggled with that one, if we had screwed it up again, like, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. All right, now we can get the hell out of here, which, how, is right down there, right? But hold on. Oh, there's those ones there, too. I see some orbs that we missed, actually. Hold on. Have we been up here before? Okay. Really? Missed one? Oh, yeah, there's definitely more we can do over here, because those, uh... Those things are closed. There we go. The, like, pistons right there. Maybe that's something we can do later, though. Like, come back and deal with. And those ones right there to the left, too, that we just passed. Yeah, there's definitely more to do here, but I don't think there's anything more we can do right now. So for now, let's just get the hell out of here. Should be... Over here somewhere? Is this it? This is it. And I think she is right here. Yeah, hello. I would like my power orb, please, and thank you. Thank you, lady. Appreciate you. Damn, dude, we only technically need one more. Oh, that's how we go first person. Damn it. Leave the menu. Uh, is he going to charge the same mount? 120? Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Here Too easy, dude. Power cell. Let's go. For your sacrifice, I offer you a power cell. Now, technically, that's all we need to leave this area. Because we collected extra in the first area. But there's definitely more to do around here. 
time is it? Recording one? Uh, we got a little bit of time. We can, we can screw around for a minute or two first. Maybe. Is there more to this area, or was that literally it? No, there's no way that was it. There's gotta be more to do. There's one of the scout flies. Holy shit, dude. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Wymy. Holy shit, dude. Um, if you like, I don't know if you've looked at the, the list of my PlayStation 2 games or not. Um, but you get five votes for each gift subscription there. Or just each, each subscription in general. So if you want to throw 25 votes on any, any PlayStation 2 game, basically... There's a, there's a handful of non-PlayStation 2 games as well. Um, but yeah, the, the link is linked on Giftree. So, if you if you want to take a look and, and throw some votes on there, man, by all means, you're more than welcome to. If you don't want to do all that, I'll just throw some, some votes in your honor <laughs> on there. But uh, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Hey, and OptiJack can finally have a subscription. <laughs> Still don't understand why the dude gave me 500 bits the other day, but didn't just sub. My brother's a dumbass sometimes. <laughs> Love you, boy, but you're a dumbass. Thank you for the bits the other day. And thank you again for the, for the five gift subs, dude. Like, holy shit. That's huge. Appreciate it, man. I remember this level... And I don't remember it particularly fondly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, other than the sliding sections. I remember that there's some sliding sections which were pretty cool. Um, cause sliding is always fun. But, all this electrical BS, I just remember being a giant pain in the ass. Are we doing the thing? <laughs> are you trying? Are you trying to start a uh, a train? <laughs> Is that your goal here? <laughs> Thank you, sir Chocobo. I appreciate you, man. Because <laughs> you didn't want to hit the button to have it not auto renew. I know hitting that one button to save you five dollars would have been such a pain in the ass. I know, but. <laughs> <laughs> you see how little sense that makes, Optijack? I oh, little guy on the top. That makes sense. I appreciate it either way, though. All of you, thank you guys. Seriously, holy shit! Another <laughs> dude, y'all are insane, man. Thank you all. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> none of this is necessary, dude. Thank you guys. Another one? What do you mean another one? Oh, son of a bitch, dude. Dead again. Noodle's never gonna get the uh, top spot for this month now. She's gonna cry. <laughs> it's okay, though. <laughs> you guys are insane. Thank you, guys. Hey! <laughs> Wait, seriously? Another five? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> oh, why me, man? You're insane, my guy. Thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not necessary, man. I appreciate it so much, though. How is a hype train not triggered with 10 gift subs and, what was it, 200 bits? That's my limit. Oh, that is, dude, you did more than enough. More than enough. <laughs> I didn't expect that even, so thank you so much, man. Do not feel bad that that's your limit. <laughs> thank you, man. Seriously, I appreciate it. I can't, I can't say so enough. Like... <laughs> Does it take a fourth person now? Oh, maybe. Maybe that's the problem? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my god, guys. 
<laughs> You're killing me here, man. What are you guys doing? It probably takes a fourth person. One more person needs to do something. That's what it is. Huh. Yeah, like I see the pop up for it there. I'm, uh, that's what I was looking at, but. Everyone who contributes receives one unique emote, blah, 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 blah. But I don't see anything about it saying like four people, though. At least not on mine. I don't know if it's different on the pop up for you guys, but. I don't know, man. I don't think we're going to get a fourth person. <laughs> Thank you all, but I don't... <laughs> your, your work may have been in vain. I don't think a fourth person is crazy enough to do all that. <laughs> on mine it says one more person needs... Oh, see? It doesn't say that on mine. On mine it just says a hype train is close. But, uh, as far as I'm aware, I can't trigger the hype train, though. Right? Like, because I can gift subs on my own channel, right? That should be a thing. Do I need to go to my actual channel to do it? Hold on. They could probably do a single bit, you think? Do you have a single bit in the bank room? I don't know if you have any just, like, sitting around. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Chocobo showing off his collection of hype train bits. Um, Hold on, hold on. How long do we got? A minute 30? That should be fun. I'm going to try to trigger for you guys. You guys did all that work. You deserve your your emote. <laughs> Where's my phone? I need my phone. <laughs> Someone did. I'm trying if it'll work for me. I don't know if it'll count if I do it or not, but... Come on, PayPal, load, do your thing. Uh, that's fine, save and continue. Come on. I don't think it worked. I don't think my gift subs work. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I tried. I tried. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like me gift subbing counts towards the, the hype train. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I tried. I can't do anything else. <laughs> Eight seconds. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. It was close, though. Still, though, regardless of the hype train, I'm hype. Thank you, guys. Right at the end of the stream, too. Like, Jesus, man. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We don't need no hype train. <laughs> Encore. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I mean, we still got 10 minutes left. I'm not ending the stream right this second or anything like that. But, like... <laughs> Oh, man. Seriously, guys. Thank you. That's, you guys are insane. That was... That's a... Just thank you. Uh, I really don't have words. None of that was necessary. I appreciate you all. You got these left over from somewhere? <laughs> Make it 15? Fine. 15 minutes. We can do. We can do 15 minutes. 14 minutes now. Because <laughs> minutes already passed. I can... I can do that for you.
Holy shit. Again, thank you guys. I really... I just don't know what to say <laughs> when that sort of stuff happens. Appreciate you all. 14 minutes, 30 seconds. I don't have, like, an exact timer that I can use to count down <laughs> the minutes and seconds with. I was just going to go till 5 after 9, since you asked so nicely. And you guys just did all that for me. Like... Six after nine. <laughs> Fine, six after nine. I can do six after nine. Or shall I say 69? Nice. Six after nine. That's the, the final... Final... I, words aren't working for me. Final count? <laughs> Can we? Let's go. Um. Oh, that didn't work. I don't remember how to do like anything in here, dude. Oh, we got some eco. Do we need that for something? I mean, I'm sure we do. Why else would it be here? Uh, get out of the water, please. Thank you. I was scared. Okay, well, we can probably just ride this over to there. Do we have to, like... Maybe we hit the buttons. Because, like, I see this one's, like, green, and we found the red one before. So I'm assuming we just hit the button, and then we have to, like, maybe collect it within the time limit? Like, the green one's right here, so that one should be easy. It is a time thing, okay. Easy. That one... That's the red one, it looks like. So if we just move these over to there to the other side, we should be able to just jump right across, basically. This will fit right, yeah. Let's go. I keep connecting and disconnecting from the chat room. I hope Twitch isn't having too many problems right now. I know the whole stream disconnected temporarily earlier. Oh, shit. Red's up there. That's not the one I thought it was. Okay. No, you... Bastard. Well, that's annoying. I thought we had time on that. Cycle to make it up. Obviously not, though. Uh, I don't suppose there's, like, a healing ego thing here anywhere, is there? Oh, there's where we need to take the energy to. I see that now. I'm going to try to complete this room. Maybe even the next room. Might end up going a little beyond the 69. That is the blue one, right? Before I hit this blue button and then it just takes us, like, somewhere completely different. Oh, God. Come on. This game is amazing, but it's not exactly the fastest game. Yeah, okay. Just spits it out right there. Perfect. Nice, nice. Okay. Now for the power cell. You have six and a half hours before you're supposed to go to sleep. 
<laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Donating all these gift subs, man. Go to bed. <laughs> get some sleep. I can hardly function when I get like seven or eight hours of sleep. I don't know how people stay up all night anymore, man. When I was younger, I would do stuff like that. But these days, like, I just cannot do it. Hydrate? You got it, my guy. Uh. Everybody else too, man. It's important. Stay hydrated. Oh, God. No. No. You bastard. Why did we make it up there so easily the first time? And now we're struggling. Um, back to the beginning again. Nice. Twizzlers are hydrating, right? Oh, for sure, dude. 100%. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can cheese our way up there. Although... Mm, nope, not there either. I don't really understand Twizzlers, to be honest with you, man. It's like chewing on rubber. That's just barely flavored. I'd much rather eat, like, chocolate or saltwater taffy or something along those lines. Although, like, if you were a teething child, I imagine Twizzlers would probably be fantastic. I guess I don't need this all the way over there now. I just need it right here. Right? Just something to hang, like, the teething rings for babies? Be perfect. Noodle, why weren't you here, like, ten minutes ago? <laughs> we were so close to a hype train. Thank you for the five bits. But, uh, why me, Chocobo, and Optijack were being insane and donated a bunch of stuff and uh we needed one more person we don't know how many bits we needed them to donate but we only needed one more person to trigger the hype train so if you had been here just just a few minutes ago man then everyone could have got a special emote it's all right though love it's not your fault <laughs> no don't cry it's not your fault it's okay it's not like you could have known. And you're working right now, so it's not even like you had much of a choice in it. Wish I could see down. We're good. We're fine. Can I just make it if I run around? Stream takes priority over work. <laughs> Whenever stream starts paying for the bills, maybe. But, uh, until then, I think work has to take priority. Hmm. Get off the wall. Man, if we hit this cycle right... Let's go! Okay, it still worked. Now, there's nothing, like, up there, is there? I am top dog now. <laughs> it's about to take priority because you're so close to quitting. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. I hope it starts to get better for you. And, uh, are you still closing early? Because, I mean, if you're still closing early, then you only got about an hour left. That's not too bad, right? I don't think she's noticed yet, guys, but I'm okay with just leaving it that way. Oh, you're not closing early now? Oh, well. I'm sorry. Does that mean your card re reader started working again, at least? Because if your card reader started working, then it's not so bad, right? You said that you might be closing at 10. You said not like early early, but you said you might be closing at 10. And as far as that goes off to Jack, she's considered it. Honestly. Coming to our workplace. 
Not that I think it'll actually be any better, but... <laughs> it pays more money, though. So, I mean, there's that. We're dead. Maybe, but we're not a different store, so we don't get treated differently. I don't know. I'm assuming you got beef with another store. Which, I mean, fair. Who doesn't have beef with other stores? I just get a random message that pre-rolls are on. I haven't run an ad recently, I don't think. Weird. <laughs> you start hate it so much that you love it now. You finally drank the Kool-Aid, huh? Thought we were gonna get like sucked into there or something, but <laughs> I say every day how much I love the place, trying to convince myself that I do, but uh it hasn't worked yet. <laughs> it's it's strictly a place that pays the bills. Ow. Just close anyway. They make enough whoever they are. <laughs> they would probably never even know. <laughs> Until, like, you get customers calling and complaining or something like that. But, I mean, I'm fine with what why me suggested. Oh, come on. Let's go. Other stores get to close because of issues like the bathroom is too full. They don't have... Wait, oh, back room. I thought you said bathroom. And I'm like, wait, what? How does the bathroom get so full they have to close? That's insane. But, okay. I see. That makes more sense. Back room is too full. They don't have heat. But we have some major technical issues. And we're stuck dealing with the bitchy customers. Yeah. That does suck, dude. My workplace has been like that before, and it's not a fun time when it happens. Is there another room over there that we missed? Because this one goes down. I think there's another room. No, get out of the water. We only have, like, one hit point left. I really don't want to die. Okay. Wait for the cycle. wasn't too bad that looks painful okay this isn't annoying at all can you like spin and get multiple at a time we can dope you're not even doing your job. You're just kind of wandering around. <laughs> go home sick. Just go to the bathroom and throw up. Ah, uh, dick. Okay. I think for this one, we just have to step on all the platforms like once. I don't think we can step on any platform twice. I think that's all there is to it. What? Why can't I double jump? Why wouldn't that work? If you tell them you're sick, you're going home. I mean, <laughs> there's not much they can really do about it at that point, right? You don't ask to go home because you're sick. You tell them you're going home because you're sick. And that's when you tell them it wasn't a question. <laughs> I was just letting you know. I'm going home. And then you leave. Um. What? <laughs> that, that's not the stream messing up. That's actually what just happened to the game. Um. Hold on, let me, okay. First, is it OBS that's the problem, or? Let me switch to direct display. 
Nope, that's what the game actually looks like right now. Okay. Uh, refresh my upscaler. Nope, that's... <laughs> uh, shit, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's 9.06. That's just the game letting us know that it's time to stop. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh. it's not request it's a warning <laughs> that, that's some good oh yeah <laughs> oh my god I almost texted my manager telling her you're about to be done you did tell your co-worker that um hold on I think I just wanted to complete this challenge so we could save and then oh no we have to finish over there. Well, hold on. If I just like Step 1. Stay alive. Step 2. Let's see what happens, man. Is the screen going to fix itself? No. Nope. Okay. It's just fucked. I'm going to restart my PS2 before we quit just because I want to know like if it's all working now or not. Uh let's save real quick too actually. The game should have auto saved, but <laughs> my god i just hope it's not like something broke you know what i mean so hold on let me turn uh, restart this real quick thankfully looks like it was just a, a glitch in the game thankfully because yeah that could have been a major problem oh Finally got a reply about your name change for KFC. Guess what they said? To reapply? What? Why? What? They can't just, like, go in their computer and then change it? Like... That's dumb as hell, man. It's probably cheaper to just... What? How's it... That makes no sense, man. That is really dumb. That makes no sense at all. I'm sorry they're putting you through all that shit. Just to change your name in the fucking computer, basically. Yeah, but, like, how is having someone quit less paperwork than just... I mean, I don't know how KFC works. I've never worked at KFC or anything like that. But, like, it should be as simple as going in and just, like, changing something on the computer, right? Just, like, what would they do if they accidentally typoed somebody's name? You know what I mean? Like, and then signing up a whole new employee? That can't be more work than just changing an employee's... Or that can't be less work. Yeah, it's... Hiring a whole new employee can't be less work than just fucking changing someone's name, like... <laughs> That's... That, I don't know, man. That sounds like bullshit to me. <laughs> that sounds like a sign to just start job hunting if you're not already, because weren't you already thinking about finding another job or looking for another job? Something like that? Took my one job like six months to fix my name on my paychecks when they put it backwards. Yeah, but like, see, they could do it, though. It might have taken them six months, which is also ridiculous. But, like, it just shows they can fix stuff like that. I mean, again, it wasn't KFC you were looking at, but still. Like, holy hell, dude. You didn't know he was a current employee. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know, man. That's dumb. That makes no fucking sense. But uh, anyways, I'm glad the capture setup and everything still works. Uh, and <laughs> it is after 9.06. It's actually 9.11. So I think we're pretty much going to call it there for the night. It's a ton of fun, man. I love Jack and Daxter. I don't think there's a whole lot to really like say about Jack and Daxter while playing it. But it's a really good game. Ton of fun. Y'all should play it, honestly. 
thing is I was trying to quit anyway, but I want my paychecks to reflect my name. I, that's fair. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about is KFC. Yes. Good night, Chocobo. Uh, what is today? Anyways, today is Wednesday. So tomorrow we'll be back with a random PS2 game. We'll be uh, finishing Jack and Daxter. I'll keep you guys updated on Discord, of course. Um, but possibly Monday is when we'll be playing Jack and Daxter from from now on instead of Wednesdays. I haven't 100% decided yet, but I'm leaning more and more towards the game to complete game being done on Mondays instead of Wednesdays. Um, because I, uh, yeah. <laughs> One, having sharing a day off with my brother would be nice if I ever decide to hang out with him or anything like that. Um, but also having like my day off off be on Wednesday. Oh, see, the thing is though, I set to play D and D on Wednesdays, which I mean like D and D isn't that bad. You know, it doesn't take that much energy or anything, but that was one nice thing about Mondays was that I had the day completely off from any responsibilities, but I don't know. You're off on Mondays. See, that's all the more reason to do it, man. I don't know. Honestly, like I said, I, I might change it to Mondays. Mondays is, is feeling like the good choice. And in all honesty, I could probably talk to my D&D group and change D&D to Mondays too if if I wanted to. Because um, we did have a game night on Mondays once upon a time, but I, I need a little bit more time to myself because <laughs> that's literally one day a week is all I get to myself. So yeah. That's that's probably going to be the plan, but I'm not going to say for certain yet. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on Discord. Most likely Monday we'll be playing Jack and Daxter and seeing how much farther we can get into it, though. Sounded like a plan. DoorDash called to confirm you're a cash-only store. What the? <laughs> oh, God. That's all right, Noodle. I'm getting off anyways. Have a good night, love. And uh, we'll have a good night, everyone. Not just Noodle. Uh, <laughs> I will talk to you guys tomorrow night and thank you one last time uh oh load your save real quick i didn't think about that yeah let's hope it didn't kill the save i did make a separate save file for that reason although it looks like there was an auto save right before then so let's hope it's fine i'm thinking yeah okay okay we're good we're good it's probably just some random glitch it was like weird that it didn't fix itself after the reload though um like when we died and came back in i was thinking maybe it would be fine but maybe my ps2 is dying or something like that i'm not sure or maybe maybe my disc isn't that great hold on I mean, I've seen far worse PS2 discs. There are... <laughs> I mean, I kind of just stretched. <laughs> 914. Look, I'm getting off. I've seen far worse PS2 discs. There's a couple scratches on it here, but they're not like... They're not super bad. There's probably just some random glitch or something like that. I'm sure it's fine. I'm going to actually get off now. Y'all aren't winning that easily. Me standing up was basically a stretch. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you guys again. Uh, Chocobo, YME, OptiJack, Noodle, and everybody else just for coming out. Uh, thank you all. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.